Hey, how are you doing guys? I'm KB Kwan. Welcome back to another episode of Taste of Asian Food. Today, I went to the market and get some lamb and thinking of make some lamb kurma. And for those who follow this channel, you might have noticed that I have a chicken kurma recipe that I uploaded before. But I also wear that lamb and chicken taste differently and I need to make some changes to the original recipe. So for today's recipe, it is not a reproduction of any recipe before, but instead it is inspired by the kurma, lamb kurma recipe from different region. It is my own interpretation. So I hope you will enjoy this recipe and let's get started. This is the lamb I got it today and it has been cut into about 1 inch chunks by the butcher. And the first thing I want to do is to add some yogurt to it and marinate it for about half a day at least. Or if I have time, overnight is even better. Let me get some yogurt and mix with the lamb. The reason I add the yogurt is because yogurt can help to tenderize the meat. Cover it with a cling wrap and uh, I'm going to put it into the refrigerator overnight and then I'll continue tomorrow. All right, the next morning now, and I've taken it out from the refrigerator and prepare some other ingredients. I'll cut the onion into slices and the rest, that's a ginger, garlic, and green chili. I'm gonna rough cut all this into small pieces and I'll blend them into paste. Besides that, I also need some dry spices, bay leaves, cinnamon, green cardamoms, cloves, and cumin seeds. I also use some ground spices to season the lamb. This is turmeric powder. It is for flavor and also it gives the lamb some color. Next is the Kashmiri chili powder. It gives the lamb a reddish color and it is not very spicy. And you can always adjust the quantity according to the spiciness that you want. Next, we have coriander powder salt, garam masala, and some ground pepper. Blend the ginger, the garlic, and the chilies in the food processor. Add a little bit of water to facilitate blending. And now we have the ginger garlic chili paste. We have done all the preparation, now the cooking is quite straightforward. Heat some ghee in a pan. This is ghee, that's the purified butter. You can use ghee alone or mix with some vegetable oil. Heat up the oil. Fry the onion over low to medium heat until golden brown. It is best to use low to medium heat because high heat will cause the exterior to brown quickly while the inside are still soft and a little bit undercooked. And be cautious not to burn the onions because it will make the korma gravy taste bitter later. Okay, it's quite done now. So uh, now I want to remove the onion from the pan but still keep the oil in the pan to cook in the following step. Now add the whole spices and fry these spices slowly until the aroma rises. When you start to smell the aroma, add the lamb. Okay. 
spread the lamb single layer and fry each side a few minutes until the color changes. After a few minutes, the color of the lamb has changed and all the water released from the lamb has already evaporated and what you see left here is only the oil. Now let's add the ginger, garlic and chili paste that we have made just now. Followed by all the dry spices. Combine all the spices with the lamb. And then add some water to slow cook the lamb. Now set it at low heat and to simmer it for about 1 hour 15 minutes to 1 and a half hours. While cooking the lamb, let's blend the onion. Let's blend the onion with some yogurt. The blended onion will help to thicken the gravy. That's the onion yogurt paste which helps to thicken the korma gravy. Back to the lamb and now we add the onion yogurt paste. And adjust the water level if at any time you find that there's not enough water. Now just relax and wait until the lamb turns soft and tender. Okay, I've cooked it for about 1 hour and 15 minutes and in between I add some water and then I cook it down. Now you have an option to make it thicker or more gravy. I like to keep the gravy thicker because I like that intense aromatic flavor. So I'm not going to add any water. But it is still the best to do a taste test to make sure that everything is on a dot. Great flavor. I don't think I need to add anything or any other spices. But before I take it out from, from the pan, I want to add two more ingredients. These two ingredients will further enhance the flavor. The first one is some nutmeg powder. This is quite common that I think most people will know about it. The second one is maize, which is a little less common and I ground it myself. I keep a few pieces before I ground it and it looks like that and it is derived from the coating of the nutmeg seeds. Just a little bit of ground maize and give it a mix. And now my lamb korma is ready. That's my lamb kurma with a lustrous gravy and a delicious flavor from the spices. That's how to make lamb kurma and I hope you love it. It is best to serve with a flatbread such as a chapati, nuns or paratha or you can also go along with rice like biryani rice. And uh, I have included the recipe in the description below the video. And don't forget to subscribe, tap the notification bell and give me a thumbs up and I will see you again in some other similar video soon. Bye for now.